learned a lot of lessons. And if you needed any type of confirmation to let you know that you're doing the right thing and like I said, you're on the right path, you definitely are. This is your confirmation. Continue to do what you're doing because right now your energy is coming off very fierce, very confident. So yeah, that's your reading part one. I hope it resonates. Hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. You have Ten of Cups, the Star, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Some of you just could be talking about um, a relationship coming to an end, especially if you haven't dealt with a lot of ups and downs. Some of you may have already checked out of this connection. Some of you could be saying because you have children, as quickly as something began, it's going to end. There's something here about you realizing something or you finding a way to heal from a situation. You healing yourself enough to walk away, especially if something has been like long overdue. This could be a connection at your end. This could be in regards to your family, your friends, your job, or just your day-to-day -day life. There's something here about you being tired of having to deal with something over and over again. You may have felt like um, your day-to-day -day life has kind of been like muscle memory. You just get up start your day, you go to work, you come home, go to sleep, you get up, you start your day. Like, it's, it's something here that's repetitive, but you're finally finding the strength to walk away from it. There's something in regards to your past or your childhood that you've always wanted to pursue, something that you've always wanted to do. It seems like once you cut something off or once you cut all of these distractions out of your life, you are quickly able to focus on something that brings you a lot of joy, something that's because if you are looking for something and things are blocking your vision, how are you going to find it? You could also be going back to your old ways. This energy here is really talking about you getting back to being yourself again. You being happier. You being able to go out and enjoy yourself. You laughing more. Just honestly getting back to your normal self. You have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Death. Yeah, there's something here that you're choosing to release, to be honest. You're cutting something off completely. Some of you, this could also be you solely focusing on your connection and the people that are currently in your life, the ones that are actually supporting you. Maybe you have like a, a lot of friends, but you don't really hang out with them. You don't talk to them as often. There's a lot of releasing here. You're definitely choosing to prioritize things that actually matter to your life. And the people that are currently involved in your life. The ones you can actually call on when you really need something. Or even if it's just someone to talk to. You could also be spring cleaning as well. There's a lot of release here. But it doesn't matter how painful it may be for you. You're choosing to take this step because you realize that it's necessary. It's necessary for your growth and it's necessary for your own personal happiness. You have the Temperance and the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are going to be hurt by this, including you. But you're honestly choosing to do what's best for you. And like if everyone's going to get hurt, then it's even. Right? Because last time I checked, if me living hurts you, well... What the fuck can I do about that? My life shouldn't hurt you. Only yours. I said you're choosing to focus on relationships that are pouring back into you or the temperance here. It seems like you had a lot of things and a lot of people around you who were just kind of there, like taking up space. You could also be making major changes in your life. So this is honestly mandatory for you to do this. There's some Keep going, my ninja. Keep going, my wolves. They will be there. They're not going anywhere. It's not like you're abandoning these people. 
going on your path, your quest to find yourself. They found themselves already, or maybe they didn't. Does it matter? I'm here who will really be hurt by this. It seems like this person is really upset because they thought they meant more to you. They didn't think that you would cut them off, but they could be just like the others that it's honestly just taking up space. It seems like you're going to have a lot of people who are trying to fight to keep their spot in your life. But it's only after you are cutting them off. Before then, they weren't worrying about solidifying their position. I feel like regardless of what these people have to say or how they're trying to defend themselves or plead their case, you're still choosing to release them. You know why? Because what you say doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is what you do to people. Because what you do to them makes them think about you. And if all they think and feel is negative things, well, um, you know, eventually they catch on and say, I don't want to feel that way no more. And the only way I can stop is to not have that person in my life. Seems like something in your life went too far than it should have. It's kind of like you being in a situation where you were clearly distressed, you were clearly going through it, and no one said anything to you. No one tried to help you. No one tried to offer their support. You may have tried to reach out to certain people, and, and they just didn't have any <laughs> advice to give you. No, they kind of just brushed everything off, and it wasn't until you finally realized how bad your situation was and you had to really fight to get out of it so now that you have healed from that or you're going down this journey of healing you're looking back at how much time you spent in a situation and how it was very draining for you and how you visibly looked like you were going through it but these are people that just sat and watched so you're choosing to cut them off it doesn't matter what they try to say now or how they try to you know, ask for your forgiveness or whatever, whatever excuses they have, it just doesn't matter. Something was too clear. It was too obvious that you were dealing with so much and it doesn't seem like you had much support and you could have a lot of people around you. See, that's what made me take my quest all those years ago. Because my father made me wake up and he said, all you have is all you need. And you got me now. So, why do you need them? What do they do for you? They take from your ass. What do they do, though? Slow you down. Prevent you from growing. Like I said, family, friends. There's a lot of people here that witnessed you experience something and they did not step in they didn't help so you have people here that are like being very dramatic okay. but it's only because they're being held accountable for being a bad friend for being a bad family member they're just not trying to accept that they didn't support you the way that they should have this could also be once you did leave a situation and you expressed like how much you were going through maybe you gave these people the benefit of the doubts and you could have expressed to them that you were dealing with a lot and their response could have been oh I could tell or I noticed like you look different you lost a lot of weight or you gained a lot of weight or you just look like you were going through it and and then you know what you mean you just watching this shit happen that could have been the moment you realized wow they they sat and watched so it's, it's kind of like they would say that, and once you cut them off, it's like their response is, well, I didn't know, I thought you knew, or I thought, like, you know, I didn't want to I didn't want to intervene, or I didn't want to get in your business. But if you see that someone you love is going through it, especially when you can clearly see that there's an issue, you're going to help. You're going to intervene. It's like you end up having to save yourself when you have so many people around you that could have helped, that could have supported you, that should have. And I don't see this as you blaming other people nope. or trying to make it others responsibility but it's kind of like you. if it was you on the outside looking in you would help 
So you just want to make sure that you surround yourself with people that are going to 